right, let's take a little dive into Nashville and the latest report on um, the living, not necessarily the living conditions, but uh, it's ranking on whether it's one of the best places to live in the nation or not. Um, We talked a little bit yesterday on the podcast about living in Nashville, but more referencing for artists and those who are, you know, trying to to live the Music City dream. Uh, We talked about that on yesterday's episode. If you want to go listen to it, is Music City losing that branding? That was yesterday's episode. Go check that out if you have not listened to it. Um, But there is a report, and you have to get all the way down to the freaking bottom of the article to read who it was by, the U.S. News and World Report. We do have some of the stats from that that we're going to get into. Um, But uh, according to this list, there are two Tennessee cities that are on the uh, in the top 50 best places to live. Nashville is not in that top 50. Uh, Nashville was number 61. Nashville was number 61 down from 25 in 2022. Yeah, that's a significant drop. And we were number 30 in 2021. So we were we were kind of scaling in there and we were. We were making our way in there, and then uh, that's, uh, that's no longer the case. We'll talk about why here in just a minute. Knoxville came in at number 21 Grid. on the list. With, their, um, with a rating of 6.5 out of 10. Uh, and Chattanooga landed at number 48, just squeezing into that top 50 with an overall score of 6.4 out of 10. The rankings are determined on a number of factors, including job market. We know Nashville's good with that. Uh, value. I don't Nashville. exactly know what that means. It's a uh, home values. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we're, what we're about to, the analytics and data we're about to look at is okay. home values. Yeah. Home values, their homes are, are valued a lot, but They're compared eight. to wages, not necessarily. Well, that so we that's also, kind of where, uh, where you're about to see this on this list, home values are on average like fifty to $100,000 more than nationwide. So, but do, do they say that's a, a good thing or a bad thing? I think they're rating that as a bad thing. Right. Yeah. Compared to the wages here. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quality of life is also a determining factor. Desirability. We know Nashville's high with that. Quality of life. We're probably somewhere in the middle. Uh, and net migration rankings, where we are probably high on that. But Nashville earned a rating of 6.3. We scored 6.4 in desirability, 6.6 in value. I'd say desirability should be higher than that. Um, but maybe it's desirability for people who are already here, so, which is which would be very interesting. 6.3 for job market. Are you kidding me? Uh, 6.1 for quality of life. That should have been our lowest. Mm-hmm. And 6.1 for net migration. I don't, I don't really necessarily just looking at that without looking at all of the information. Those are two. Those values are way too close together. The, the scale should be a lot higher. We should be a lot higher in desirability, a lot higher in job market maybe a little bit lower uh, everything going from 6.6 to 6.1 and eh, it doesn't really convince me that this is the most accurate thing but hey this is what people are all right are so going th- this by. is this is how they uh rank this so this is on usnews.com uh, uh, and they have like this little real estate thing so us news and world reports best places to live rankings are intended to help readers make the most informed decision about when choosing where to settle down Metro areas in the rankings are evaluated using data from sources including the U.S. Census Bureau, the FBI, the U.S. Department of Labor, the U.S. News' own internal resources. This data was categorized into four index listed below, evaluated using the methodology determined by American preferences. Uh, The percentage – okay, it just keeps going and going and going. (laughs) Okay, I did not realize it was going to be that long. Okay, okay so so let's look at Nashville and Stuart. You can pull me, up the Nashville stats. Um, Metro's population, just just to kind of see where everything is, one point nine six million. We're almost at two million. Median age thirty six point six years old, which is which is interesting because a few years ago, I believe it was twenty nineteen, maybe even twenty twenty, the median age of Nashville is thirty four. They just surveyed the same people, and now they're thirty six. And now they're thirty six. <laughs> yeah. Uh, medium home price, median home price four hundred forty five thousand. Uh, average annual salary fifty three thousand seven hundred thirty. Median monthly rent two thousand 
uh, one thousand two hundred eleven. I uh, guess that's for a one bedroom. Okay, that makes sense. That would be my guess. Unemployment rate seven point three percent. I don't think that's that right. is that is not right at all. That's why job market is so low. Uh, Nashville's unemployment rate, I think, is three around three. Uh, average commute is about twenty eight minutes. Okay. Uh, average rainfall, uh, I think it's a little bit higher than that. Uh, forty seven point two five. We typically have more rainfall than the city of Seattle. I thought we were on average about 62 inches of rainfall per year. Yeah, I thought we were somewhere around the 60 to 70 mark. Uh, Average high temperatures, 69.72 Fahrenheit. Average low temperatures, 48.91 Fahrenheit. If we go back up to this, we can show this on the computer now if you don't mind, Aaron. Uh, So Nashville came in 61st place as best places to live in the United States. This is interesting. It came in 84th place for best <laughs> best place to retire. Interesting. Even though Tennessee, I believe, as a state, is ranked the second or third best place to retire in the United States. Nashville's very different than the rest of the states. That's true. And that's where you get your median age of 36.6. Yeah, probably because it may have surveyed Hold on, but it's ne- metro. Okay, so number three best places else. to live in Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. Um, also on this list, best places to live, the top five, Green Bay, Wisconsin, Damn. never been Huntsville. Yeah, I would, I would I put would. Huntsville on the list. Riley and Durham. Yep. Boulder. Yep. And Sarasota, Florida. Yep. There you go. They all make sense. Yeah. Best places to retire in, uh, according to this Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That's where all the good food is. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Where's this, where's this Pennsylvania That's, coming from? Uh, well, Harrisburg is the capital. Um, it's an interesting place, Pentaco- uh, uh, Pensacola, it's, it Florida. Is not Pentecostal, Florida. Yeah. Tampa, Florida, <laughs> and New York, PA. But dude, Pennsylvania is just coming in clutch. Woo. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at this. This is the graph I was telling you about. Let me zoom in on this as much as I can. Okay. So the housing costs in 2021 on average in Nashville was about $445,000. The nat- natural cost was around three hundred and sixty-five national national cost, and then uh, so this is a a scale from fourteen to uh, twenty twenty. So you can just see Nashville is just it's about a hundred thousand dollars more, fifty to a hundred thousand dollars more. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, this is a, a very very interesting. Okay, so that does have an effect on it. And is there anything else? Uh, it talks about the weather. Best way to get around Nashville? Don't. Uh, it's stay stay at home. Stay at home. Uh, stay at who lives in Nashville? Okay, so this is this is interesting. Um, so this is a good age breakdown of under twenty. Twenty five percent of Nashville residents are under twenty. Dang, that's insane. Yeah. Um, and then very large five percent, forty five to sixty four, which would make sense because all of their kids live here. Yeah, if, yeah, if it's. Uh, there's your marital status breakdown. I didn't realize that 51% of Nashville residents are married. Well, there you go. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see what, what's next job market. <laughs> oh, so they even have more breakdown. Then they have schools. Wow. They got, they have data on data. Yeah. All right. So the average median income in Nashville right now is 53,000. I thought that was a little bit higher. I thought it was closer to 60,000. Um you're probably thinking of I think this is per person. I think some of the data that we normally get is household. Yep, that would make sense. All right. So unemployment rate over time. Okay. Let's go to schools. Dude, this is so much data. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so you can see all the schools. Uh, total students, 69,000. Total teacher, teachers, 4,344. Uh, 16 to 1 ratio. All right. Oh, that's not bad. Let's go to crime. <laughs> okay. Um, higher crime than average crime rate. Higher than average crime rate, 606. That's our score? That's the violent crime. Is that a score, 606.6? That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's the affecting the holy crap. That's affecting the quality of life. Um, and then you have property crime. Is that people uh, breaking in and doing damage, damage to cars, cars house? Okay. We're pretty high. Things like that. Yeah. All right. So there, there's photos. Okay. So that, that's it. So if you want to learn more about this report, you can go deep into the data. 